Hello, I'm going to do the Aquarius Capricorn Connection for the beginning of February. And this is a general reading, so it may or may not resonate with you. I'm going to pull some tarot, then I'm going to a different tarot card deck for each sign, and then I'll get a deck to clarify with and then close out with some oracle. Also, you have the power to change my life by watching my video all the way through and liking and subscribing, and I appreciate all of your support. It really means a lot to me. All right, so we're going to pick a healing stone for an overall energy for the two of you, and we have tiger eye. It's very pretty. Tiger Eye is good for traveling and brings energy. So if the two of you are not connected, I feel like the two of you will be connecting. Or if you are connected, maybe you're going to start traveling. You're going to start doing things and exploring things together. And I feel like it brings energy because the two of you are excited to be together. So you, when you're happy about things, you have more energy. All right, for Capricorn, we have the Eight of Wands, the Moon, Oh, the tower. King of swords. Ace of wands. Ace of swords. The devil, your card. Knight of pentacles. And seven of cups. Definitely something going on between Capricorn and Aquarius. All right, what is Aquarius? Oh, look at that. The tower side by side. Look at that. All right. Six of Wands. Six of Cups. Nine of Wands. Two of Wands, the Moon, you both got the Moon, you both got the Tower, and the Tower was side by side. The World, Queen of Pentacles, so I feel like Aquarius has Queen of Pentacles, has Capricorn on their mind, and I feel like Capricorn has Aquarius on their mind because you've got the King of Swords, oh, and Page of Cups. My first thought when I saw the tower for each of you is that the two of you just broke up with other people. Like the two of you were dating other people and then you, the both of you just so happened at the same time. Like the both of you have just broken up with your person that you were seeing before. And, but I feel like the two of you maybe know each other through friends or work or something. And because you both have each other on your mind and that Aquarius reaches out to Capricorn and asks to, to connect, asks out. Um, I feel like with the moon, I feel like that represents this hasn't happened yet. This connection hasn't happened yet. Um... You both may be still reeling from those other relationships. Um, I feel like, I do feel like the two of you are ready to move forward. You're almost there, but you're not quite. For me, I feel that the moon represents um, things that haven't happened yet because you can't see them clearly. And I feel like those haven't happened yet. Um, this hasn't happened yet, but I do feel like you're on each other's mind. We've got the Ace of Swords and the Ace of Wands, so getting over a past hurt, this past relationship, and ready to move forward. Two of Wands right in the middle, ready to be for forward. You're tired. Aquarius is tired from this past relationship, but they're, you're ready to move on. You're ready to get back to your happy place. All right, so let's pick. Let's 
some clarifiers and see what's going on. See what else is going on. See if there's any more messages. See if the tower comes out again. Um, it could be that if the two of you are together, um, you, the two of you have been, or maybe you were together, and the two of you broke up, like, oh, why? Uh, for some reason, six months came into my mind um, that the two of you broke up, and the two of you spent some time apart um, learning and growing and getting past the situation, and the, now the two of you are ready to reconnect. Um, I'm looking at the Seven of Cups, and for some reason, this rose is really st that that stuck out to me is is the rose so i feel positive and then i'm looking at these flowers on the six of cups that's sticking out for me there could have been a pisces that was somehow involved in something in your breakup um maybe there was another person i don't know um <clears throat> maybe it was somebody that was meddling in your relationship i don't know for some reason that just came to light. I thought I would say it. Um, and now the two of you are ready to get back together. Um, so it could be that if the two of you broke up, needed some time apart. All right, so for Eight of Wands, <clears throat> the hangman, it's looking at things from a different perspective, taking that step back. For the moon, we have the Seven of Wands. Um, looking out for yourself, making those choices that are good for you. For the tower, we have the eight of wands. So you have eight of wands here twice, and eight of wands represents quick moving energy, moving forward, ready to, to push forward. Um, I definitely feel like Capricorn is ready to move forward. For king of swords, okay, which I felt like represents Aquarius, and you have the Ten of Pentacles on top of that. So it's about having those happy feelings about this person and feeling that family life and that security. So if it's reconnecting, it's because this is what you want, is you want to have that family life and that you are ready for that. Or if this you broke up with the other people and now you're both single and you, you feel like Aquarius can give you this this Ten of Pentacles this if it's a new relationship. For Ace of Wands... We have the Queen of Wands, okay? So that's a lot of fire energy, a lot of passion, a lot of um, sparks that are going on. Um, so I feel like there was a lot of passion be between the two of you if you were together before or if it's a new relationship, like you feel this connection with Aquarius and it's very fiery and very passionate. For Ace of Swords, we have the Two of Wands, is that you're ready to get to move on from this difficult situation. If it was a past relationship, someone else that you um, were with, you're ready to move on from that relationship, which is what I felt from the beginning. Or if it's reconnecting with Aquarius, you're ready to move forward with Aquarius and put whatever problems you had in the past, you're ready to move forward with that. For Capricorn, we have the Queen of Pentacles, so I just feel like this represents you totally because you've got Capricorn and Queen of Pentacles. It's about feeling grounded. It's about feeling down to earth. It's about feeling like yourself again. So if you were with someone else that maybe you weren't feeling like you, you were feeling like that other person was more controlling or you weren't able to express and be yourself um, with that other person, with that other relationship, or if it was you were with Aquarius before, that um, you weren't being able to feel like yourself, but this time around, you want to feel like yourself. You want to make those choices that are good for you. You want to feel grounded. You want to feel like you. You want to be able to express yourself um, and not feel bad about it. Um, Nine of Pentacles, which is slow, steady progress. Okay, moving towards that King of Swords, and that is Aquarius, so moving towards that that Aquarius, like that person is on your mind. Um, right next to each other, we have the Queen of Pentacles and the King of Swords, which represents a couple to me. So it's about the two of you connecting, whether it's reconnecting or um, starting a new relationship. Seven of Cups. Like I said, I'm fo for some reason, the rose was focusing for me. So it's not about being overwhelmed. It's about feeling magical. It's about feeling special. It's about having a lot of thoughts about Aquarius and maybe dreaming about that and you know what it would be like to be with this Aquarius um, 
in making that decision. Maybe you haven't decided yet because um, maybe you need a little bit more time, but I do feel like you have a lot of positive energy going on around you um, towards this Aquarius. All right, for Aquarius, we have the tower and you are upset because things did not turn out the way that you had wanted it to. So if it was, like I said, I feel like you each were in a different relationship and you had a breakout breakup, it's because um, Aquarius had a breakup because it didn't turn out the way that you had wanted it to. Things didn't happen the way that you wanted to, but maybe that was meant to be because you were you were to get, you know, together with Capricorn. For Six of Wands, which represents a success card, we have the moon um, again. Is that, so we've got the moon here, the moon here, and the moon here. So we have the moon three times, okay? Um, and it, I feel like this is just something that has not happened yet. I feel like the two of you are working on things yet and it just hasn't come to fruition. Like I said, it could also have to do with a Pisces that was involved in something. This also represents facing your dark side, those things that you don't want to look at, those things that you don't want to deal with. Um, you know, that's what you have to deal with before you can connect together. For Six of Cups, we have the Queen of Cups. It's emotional for you, you know. Um, Six of Cups is fond memories of your childhood, being in a happy place. It also could be somebody that you had a positive relationship with comes back into your life. Um, I feel that the Queen of Cups is represent emotions because the Queen of Cups is somebody who's very emotional. And I feel like this is an emotional situation for you. You have a lot of emotions going on from breaking up either with a Capricorn, which was a while ago, or this new breakup, and then, you know, feeling that that you want to get things started again. You've had a lot of emotions going on. Nine of Wands, which is, you know, hang in there. Um, we have the Eight of Cups, which came out reversed, so there's still things that you're hanging on to, okay? There's still things that you're not letting go of. There's still things that are on your mind and that's what I said is that this is emotional for you and you're still, you know, thinking about this tower and seven of swords. So there's still that energy coming in and like I said, that's why I feel that the moon is here because this has not happened because you still have stuff you have to work on. Two of wands again, nine of swords, sleepless nights, thinking about things. The moon and the Two of Cups, see, that's exactly what I was saying, is that this hasn't happened yet. There is a relationship coming in for you um, with Capricorn or reconnecting, but you still have things that are going on. Two, you know, Two of Cups is, it's not happened yet. The World card, which represents success and victory and moving forward. We have the Six of Swords, which again reiterates that, that you're going to be able to move forward. We have the Queen of Pentacles, which I feel represents Capricorn, and we have Queen of Pentacles over here. We have Three of Wands. You're ready to look towards a future with <clears throat> a Queen of Pentacles. Page of Cups, we have the Four of Wands, yay. So that connection, that special relationship, coming together. This also could represent celebrations and get togethers. So you may connect if, you know, you go out with your friends or you have a family get together or, you know, somehow some public gathering could be work or whatever that that's where you meet this Capricorn. Um, if you have not met yet, um, and that's where the two of you may meet. And let's take this deck and have a connector down the middle. I kind of like doing that. Aquarius has a little bit more work to do than Capricorn. Capricorn, I feel like, is more ready. They're they're close, you know, closer to starting a relationship. Aquarius still has a little bit more that they have to deal with. All right, we have, it's going to take some work. It's going to take some work. If the two of you are reconnecting after how already been together, that's going to take some work for the two of you to move to this happier, this, this happier connection place. But I feel like the both of you are coming in. What do you have? What is that? It's going to take some work for the two of you. All right. 
Ace of Pentacles, all right? Aces are new beginnings. Pentacles also represent the physical, so being physically attracted to somebody, having that physical connection with somebody, um, feeling like it's new, um, having that new beginning, that new start. And I'm looking that there is a moon here also. Um, there's a moon here. There's a lot of moon energy here um, throughout it. So I, again, I feel like it just has not happened yet. And then we have the sun. And the sun is the most positive card in the deck. And that represents positive energy, positive things happening. So if you are reconnecting, you've definitely taken that time to sort through things, let go of things. If you were in relationships that you had a breakup with, um, when the two of you come together, that you will both be in a good, happy, positive space and ready for a relationship. All right, so let's do a romance angel reading. Let's see what we have. We'll pick some romance angel cards, not a reading. <laughs> All right. Soulmate, I was looking at this Two of Cups here, and I was just looking at, at how this person was looking at that person, and then, yes, this is your soulmate. Um, that connection, it's a strong connection. If the two of you are coming back together, it's because you feel like the other person is your soulmate, is your connection, is your person. But maybe when the first time around you met, the two of you weren't ready for that, but the second time around you are. Or if this is a new person coming in that, you know, you were upset about your past breakups, but the reason was is because this new relationship is coming in and this is a soulmate connection. This is a very positive, a very happy, a very long lasting um, connection um, that, you, that you are starting. All right. Thank you so much for watching. As always, stay positive, stay safe, and I will see you next time.